Oh, hey guys. So we're, we're taking the mirror off the 2005 Acura right now. This is a passenger side mirror. Um, just started working on my car because it's too expensive to take to a shop and I'm always driving it and I like to learn new things and I guess mechanicing is the new thing I'm learning now. Uh, we tried this starting this video earlier. So I guess we forgot to push record and we already started working. Today we're replacing this passenger side mirror. Just got a new one in from our boy from Russia. If you guys need some parts for your Acura 2005 RL or Honda Legacy, then give him a call. Or actually just check him out on WhatsApp and he'll send you all the pictures. It's good stuff. So we're going to take this off and this is what we're going to do. First, I got to start with taking all this stuff off. This, this trim here on the inside. So I just unloosened these bolts here. One, two, three. That allows me to just pull it off a little bit, I guess. And this piece here, I don't really want to take it all off because, I mean, what a pain in the butt to put back on. So I'm just going to work around it. I've already removed two of the bolts in here. And I got one more. This cord right here, this wire right here, is, hooks up to the mirror so that they, they can be adjusted from the driver's side control. I'm just going to get in here. I'm gonna finish this last bolt in here. Hope I can reach it. Boom, there we go. Just don't wanna take whatever I don't have to apart. I mean, all in all, this seems pretty simple, right? out just like that it's pretty simple now I need the glass out of this and I need the reflector part here which is gonna give me my blinker so all I do with this is I take this top piece of glass right here and push it in until it pops and it's gonna come out that's pretty easy right back here I'm gonna unscrew it I'm going to un... I'm going to detach these little nodes here that hook up to my motion sensor, I guess. When the car turns, the window, the mirror will turn or when I'm backing up or something like that. So we got this off. We're going to put that on the other guy in a second but what I first want to do is I want to pull this piece out right behind the, the glass get that off and then what I want to do is I want to unscrew what's attached to, to my blinker or my reflector. So I'm just gonna unscrew this real quick. I guess, it, I guess it's these ones. I don't know, like I said, this is the first time I'm doing any of this stuff. So thanks for being patient. We're already at the three minute mark. So we're right on schedule. Hopefully we'll make some more of these videos as we fix up the car. We have an AC compressor and a condenser to put in next and we also are going to do the timing belt and the water pump at the same time now I've never done any of that stuff so it's all going to be new for me and look at that that thing just comes right out of there looks like it's got a little plug there we go there's the old one so Let's see if I can hook it up to the new one. Just plug it right in. That's plugged in. Stuff the wires back in. Let's see here. Boom. 
Nice tight little fit. Let's get these screws back in. I gotta pull this one out here and this guy. So I guess that's in there. I guess there's only one screw. I don't know where the other screw came from, but it doesn't look like I need it. So we're just gonna keep it out of there. Now, where's my glass? Oh, I gotta put this thing back on. So these two wires came through here. This is the part that hooks to the glass, to the mirror. I'm gonna push this back down in here, I guess, until it fits nice. Yes, that's the way. Guess it wants to sit there. I don't know if I like that so much, but what are you gonna do? Let's see. There we go. That's better. Alright, now I'm gonna take my glass. It's a little bit dirty. I'm just gonna clean it up. Should probably clean it up better, but you know wanna want to get this done while we're while we're rolling I don't want to have to splice any video or edit anything that's a pain in the butt all right so looks like these wires are going to connect back into here all right that's connected now we're going to come back and connect There's another wire, so I don't know what that wire goes to. I guess that's just an extra wire that came with this unit. So that's not on the other one. We're just gonna tuck it back in here. And I hope that doesn't mean anything. But we're just gonna play with it like it doesn't. So that would be really cool. I don't know if it does or it doesn't, but that's just the way we're gonna play with it. So gonna put it back in these clips just drop right in here and then boom pop right back in slick as you please got a new mirror I'm gonna take these bolts off because we took them off the other one stick them back on off a little bit because we got the chance to let's move our trim back in here all right pop our cable through here and bring it back up align our our mirror up Put these screws on. Gonna give it a
little tightening. I can see where that girl puked in my car, so that's kind of nasty. I guess it's just the uh, ha hazards of driving for Uber. Boom, that's all connected. And I'm gonna connect this last piece here. It connects up to the mirrors. groove so you can see which way it goes. Oh, got a click. Let's see. We didn't get something stuck behind it. Check that out. I have to undo this. Step it back in there a little bit better. It's always a finesse game with this stuff. There's a little, this clip goes right in the inside of here. So make sure that you get that when you're coming in. That's gonna make a big difference there. Push all that back in. Yeah, that feels good right there. 
So now let's put these screws in and see how it looks. We go we got all that back together pop those back on pop this little guy back on we just did it fixed our mirror in what not a long time 16 minutes that's pretty good so that probably would have cost us you know at least a couple hundred bucks the the dealer or the workshop or anything like that but hey we did it so stay tuned for some more episodes of us figuring fixing up the 2005 acura rl it's a fun car enjoy driving it you know before you go out and buy a new car and spend a lot of money if you already got a good car that's you know needs a little bit of work in the shop weigh that against what it all costs you know you can find prices for pretty good deal online and with a little bit of help uh, with the internet you can teach yourself how to pretty much do anything thanks for thanks for sharing click below to subscribe and we'll talk to you in the next one